Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther Vision, and today I'm going to show you how to create this 3D halftone globe in Illustrator. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to select the color for the field. This is the field. Click on the field, which is located right here. Go to swatches, select the color. I got to go with gray. And click on the stroke. If you have got something on the stroke, then click on none. And click on the field again, so it's going to be on the top. Go to the rectangle tool, select the ellipse tool. Press and hold shift plus alt, create a circle. We're going to add some gradient, go to the gradient. It's right here. Click and select here the radial gradient. And the main idea is to, you know, the dark, the black to be inside and the white to be outside. You can swap it here. If you know, it's like this, then you just swap it here, reverse it. There you go. All right. From here, we're going to go to effects, pixelate, color half tone. I'm going to try it out with um, 30 and the channel is going to be like on 0, 0, 0. So basically, if you add like uh, different channel numbers, it's going to add different colors from CMYK and it's going to mix it with green. So it's going to be all, all kind of colors. It's going to look like a raster points. So I'm going to click OK, see what happens. It's all right, but I don't like that much. So another trick is I just going to press and hold shift and scale it up. And as you can see, it's going to add more and more dots. So I'm going to make it something like this. All right. From here, we're going to expand it. Go to object, click on expand appearance, and then we're going to trace it. So uh, there's like a couple of ways you can trace this. You can just press the image trace, which going to bring some ugly results because the circles won't be um, together pretty good so I am gonna go with like six colors and as you can see it made it more clean all right we're gonna click on expand right click on group and just remove this white part as you can see it looks something like this I'm gonna delete this one so we're left with these I'm gonna select them all right click group uh, go to the symbols. If you don't have the symbols, go to windows and select the symbols and click it and just drag it here. Where's the symbols? You can rename it. Click OK. I'm going to delete this one, create a, another globe, create another uh, ellipse. So press and hold shift plus alt. I'm going to delete with the direct selection tool, select the direct selection tool, this anchor point. So we're going to delete this one, press delete. I'm going to unite it uh, from the pathfinder. If you don't have the pathfinder, you can go to windows and select the pathfinder again. And let's see how I can apply the effect. Go to the effects, go to 3D and revolve. Bingo. There you go. So the main idea is the circle to be this way and not uh, this way because you won't get the right results. So go to effects, distort, what is that? 3D, revolve, and click on the map art. Click on, actually, I won't click on that. And you go to the none and select the symbol. I'm going to scale this up a little more. And I'm going to position it somewhere around here and test it out see how it's going to work out so far i don't like it so i'm gonna rotate it like this yeah there you go this way is more i'm gonna click ok click ok and from here i can expand it go to object expand appearance i'm gonna right click on group right click on group and right click release clipping mask so we're going to need only at the top. I'm going to select and pull this apart. And as you can see, there's like this part is on the bottom. We don't need these. I'm going to delete them. And this is it. This is how you achieve the halftone globe. Thanks for watching. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the other videos at the end of the video. Have a great day. Bye bye.